Hello everybody, welcome back to High Ground. My name is Tanner and today we're going to be going over phase number one of the Manchester Major. So we already knew the eight teams that would be participating in phase number one, but now we know all of the matchups. And here we have the bracket and we'll come back to this bracket in just a minute. Let's go take a look at the teams over on Liquipedia. So we have five teams making it into phase number one from their regional LCQs and then three teams coming just straight up from their league. So from LATAM, we have Cruelty. From Asia, we have Bleed. And from Middle East, North Africa, we have GK. They Each of these teams are the sole representative of their regions at the event, whereas the other five teams here have counterparts already in phase number two. So we have G2 from the European LCQ. We have Space Station from North America. We have Liquid from Brazil. We have Cyclops from Japan. And we have Firex from South Korea. Okay, now let's go back to the bracket and talk about these teams, talk about the matchups. So the way this should work is there should be a bracket flip down here in losers in the in the lower bracket and and i'll sort of talk about that when we come to it a little bit more because if there is no bracket flip then that means this is basically just two groups um if space station okay no let's let's just uh let's talk about the matchups and then we'll we'll get to it when we get to it okay so space station versus cruelty this feels like one of the easiest ones to call this should be a space station cleanup and i should also mention this is all best of threes now last year there were best of ones in phase number one until you got to elimination matches this year all best of threes in phase number one but there are still best of ones in phase number two for non-elimination matches so anyways, pretty much everybody's going to pick Space Station here. If Cruelty won, this would be a pretty massive upset. Uh, perhaps even the biggest upset of phase number one. Uh, so Space Station, it, it feels like a gimme for them. Then we have Bleed versus Cyclops. Bleed, they look to be one of the best Asian teams, if not just straight up the best Asian team. And, and that's including not just the Asia League, but also Japan, South Korea, Oceania, uh, you know, Middle East, North Africa, however you want to call that. Uh, Middle East, of course, being part of Asia. Anyways, they, they look like potentially the best team from all of those regions. I think maybe maybe Bliss gives them a little bit of a run through their money. Let me know which which of those teams you think is the current best APAC team. And uh, Cyclops, on the other hand, they haven't been to a major in a little bit. They used to qualify for pretty much every major, and they would go out in groups in every major. And that might end for them. That, that might stop for them here. We'll have to see. Um, it's sort of a new team, a, a little bit of a different roster, a different play style, but I'm, st I'm definitely going to give it to Bleed here. So that sets up Space Station versus Bleed here, and I do have a, a bracket representation in front of me, but you guys can't see it, so I, this might get a little bit murky, but I'll, I'll tell you who, who's where at any given moment. So again, Space Station versus Bleed here, for uh, and the winner of that will qualify, but we'll get back, get back to that in a minute. Fear X versus GK. So both of these teams were at six invitational. GK fell in groups, Fear X advanced. GK has made a few roster changes and I don't know if it's for the better. I guess they, they look pretty good in their region, but we'll have to see if that's really meaningful. Uh, Fear X is the old sandbox team with like one or two roster changes. So another team that would very, very often go out in groups just like Cyclops. GK did have one good run last year, but different roster. They had Leader, they had Noodle. Uh, they maybe even had one or two different players. I don't even know which five players are playing for GK because they have six on the roster. So I, I don't know what the what the deal is with, the, is with them. I guess I'll go Fear X. I don't feel too strongly about either of these teams, but I'll go with them. And then finally, Liquid versus G2. This feels like a little bit of a travesty for this to happen in round one of phase one, but here we are. I think pretty much everybody would uh, raise a few eyebrows if we saw Space Station, Liquid, G2, any of the any of those teams play against each other in the very first round. And here we have these two. We saw them in a top eight match in Copenhagen. I think it was winner went to winner went to top four so they played in the quarterfinals is what i'm trying to say uh g2 i think overall if you go back the last year well i, I don't even think it's very obvious they've been the better team than team liquid and g2 at a pretty rocky stage liquid did also but most of the rocky stuff was the first three or four games of the stage for them and then they got a lot better they they didn't quite make enough of a run to make it in the top six, but they, they did make it here. So impressive from them. I guess G2 also had to make an LCQ run. So debatable who's on, who has a little bit more momentum behind him, whatever. I feel like G2 is just the better team. I guess I'm going to go with them here over Liquid. So uh, we'll get to the losers in, in a moment. 
let's let's talk about who's going to qualify from the upper bracket space station up against bleed i believe this is a rematch from six imitational and space station one it was it was looking a little bit dire for space station at some moments but they went on a streak in one of the maps to to really turn things around uh, bleed had had some moments of their own but i think at the end of the day that chalet matchup really turned on its head and went in space station's favor i'm gonna go with space station over bleed here it certainly could go either way i feel like bleed has the upset potential you know they, they have the potential to beat most teams at this event uh, maybe not every team but i would say a lot of, especially in phase number one uh, which is what we're currently talking about but i guess i'm going to go going to go with space station they look like they got a pretty easy ride as far as the the teams from the big regions you know space station liquid g2 and because of the way the bracket works it does not seem that space station bleed liquid and g2 can be the four that make it out so uh, assuming there is the bracket flip the things will play out to where they cannot all make it out. So I think those are probably the four favorites, but again, because they're going to have to play each other enough times, uh, at least one is going to have to be eliminated. So uh, Space Station qualifies, Bleed is going to fall down. Okay, here, they're going to fall down to here. That's the that's the bracket flip, which should be happening. If it doesn't happen, then I don't know what Ubisoft and Blast are doing. That's, that's insanity. Why even have a bracket? You just have two groups at that point. Anyways, um, then we have G2 up against Fear X, and I mean, that's an easy G2 pick. Nobody's picking, nobody's picking Fear X or, or GK for that matter over uh, G2, or I probably even Liquid if Liquid somehow is the one that beats G2. So yeah, definitely going with G2. So that'll qualify Space Station and, and G2 via the upper bracket. Now we have to talk about the lower brackets. Okay, so down here, we should have Cruelty up against Cyclops based on my predictions. And let me know if you think I'm really underrating Cruelty. Are they a little bit of a dark horse here in phase number one? Are they are they going to do better than I'm expecting? Because I think I'm going to go with Cyclops here advancing. Cyclops have had, as an organization, many many stabs at majors, and they failed many times. And, and Cruelty, I guess, hasn't failed many times because they haven't had any opportunities. This is the first time they've, they've been to the majors, if I'm... Hopefully I'm not misremembering that. Uh, I'm gonna go with Cyclops and and let me know if you think I'm wrong there. Again, I don't I don't know a ton about Cruelty. I guess I don't know a ton about the current Cyclops roster, but I certainly know more about them than I do for Cruelty. So that would see Cyclops advancing to a qualification match here in the lower bracket up against Fear X. So again, if the the bracket flip is in effect, it should be the loser of this matchup plays against uh, this team and and this team should fall down over here so if you told people that it would be furex up against cyclops for phase number two uh, that doesn't sound terribly exciting right but it is what it is assuming the other matchups go as as i'm predicting them to and i think i'm gonna go cyclops again it could be furex it could be cyclops i, I don't know i, I guess furex has more recent experience at major slash si but I, I don't know i'm just picking cyclops let me know if you if you think otherwise cyclops used to be this team that was really enjoyed because of their their antics both in the server and out of the server i don't know if that really carries over to this iteration of the roster but uh one can hope okay so yeah that would be cyclops qualifying and finally we have two more matches to talk about and this should be liquid up against gk and and yeah i don't think i'm really going to be picking anybody again anybody over liquid that's not g2 space station over or, or bleed and and you know tough for for gk to go out 0 and 2 if that is the case but uh i guess that might be what happens and then finally that sets up liquid up against bleed and and yeah here is the the real culprit for those four teams not being able to make it through liquid g2 space station and bleed not all four of them anyways three of them can but one of them will sort of inevitably fall at this juncture if they if things go according to the way I picked. Uh, Liquid versus Bleed. For my money, this is probably the hardest one to predict of this entire bracket. I mean, I guess Space Station versus Bleed may be similar, I, and for some people, maybe even Liquid against G2, but I wanna say this is probably the, the toughest call for me up to this point, and I'm gonna go Liquid. Let me know if you think I'm insane for that pick. Maybe you think Bleed's a lot better. Liquid is a team is a team full of a bunch of has-beens and, and Bleed are on the come up and whatever. Liquid more experience. I guess Bleed have been getting uh, you know a little chunk of international experience recently. They have a, a very experienced coach in in Julio, but really not many teams can can rival Liquid in in the experience game. But experience doesn't just win you the game. You gotta show up in the server. And Liquid have been doing so a little bit more recently in, uh, well, a lot more recently than they did at the beginning of the stage. And I don't know, I'm just gonna give them the nod, I guess. I, 
I probably would rather see bleed, but I'm picking liquid. It is what it is. So my predictions are Space Station and G2 advancing through the upper bracket and liquid and uh, cyclops advancing through the lower bracket let me know your predictions let me know if you think any of mine are particularly egregious it's entirely possible these are you know lesser known teams and regions and whatnot for a reason and okay drop me a like a sub a comment all that good stuff and i will catch you guys next time